How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. So you have your nice brand new Google Pixel 10, 10 Pro, whatever device you got, and you're using the Pixel Launcher. Fantastic launcher, very simplistic, very bare bones. But what if you want to get rid of your at a glance widget, which is up top? Yeah, you could turn it off and on. So we have it on right here. And then we long press, we could go in and we could turn it off. But it's still there. You cannot move anything up top. You cannot get that screen real estate up here. So you have a lot of wasted space up top. Okay. But if you want to get rid of your search bar down here at the bottom, you can't really do anything with that. It stays here at the bottom. Okay. That sucks. What if you want to double tap your screen to lock your device? You cannot do that. When is Google going to implement that on our Pixel devices is what, what, is what I want to know right there. You have to lock your device and not to mention that the power button is in the wrong spot. So yeah, there you go for that. So now that Nova Launcher is out of the way and RIP, it might be going away unless somebody else, the other developers pick it up. Let's keep our fingers crossed. There's another fantastic option and that option is going to be Lawn Chair Launcher. Now there's two ways that you can install this. You can install this from the APK website online or you can go to the Play Store and install the application there as well. Now you can use it on the OnePlus 13, 13R, but you're going to have to download that version off the Play Store because there's an issue with accessibility on this device. If you were to install an APK from the website, you cannot grant accessibility over here on the OnePlus. It won't allow it, it'll crash. Uh, there's an issue, but if you download it, a certified version from the Play Store, you can allow accessibility and you could allow all your notifications on here as well, which is fantastic. Everything works for the most part. The only thing I could not get to work was the Google feed over here on the side on the OnePlus. So, so there's a little side note for you. If you want to install Launch Air on something like the OnePlus 13, 13R, 12, you might be better going off to the actual Play Store and installing the official version to grant all of those accesses to your notifications and accessibility. So keep that in mind. For my Pixel, I've been using the website version, which is the APK. I use this version on all my LG devices. It's fantastic. I've been using Launcher for a very long time in place of Nova Launcher. So you're going to want to download the version 15 beta 1, which I've already downloaded. And we're going to go ahead and go to that version and we're going to install it. And you might want to grant access on your Chrome to install unknown apps. It'll prompt you and it'll walk you through it. So when you're done with that, you're gonna hit open and boom, here we got the launcher launcher installed on your device. So you're gonna to want to make this your default launcher. So you're gonna go into settings and you're gonna search up top and you're gonna search default apps. Click down here at the bottom, you're gonna click on home app and you're gonna click launcher launcher. So now to get your double tap to sleep, you're gonna double tap it's going to prompt you, turn on accessibility service. You're gonna hit settings. And as you can see right here, launcher launcher is controlled by restrictive setting. So in order to change that, you're gonna to have to go into your app itself, which can be annoying and which was a problem with the OnePlus at a time. So you're gonna go ahead and click on launcher, find the app, app info. And now you're gonna go up here to where these little three dots are at. And you're going to allow restricted access or restricted settings. You're going to click on that. It's going to verify it's you. You're going to hit continue. And boom. Now you can do anything you want with this app. Or this app could do anything you it wants with you. It depends on how you think about it. So now when you double tap to sleep. Open up settings. Now it is highlighted. And you can click turn on. And this will allow to have launch air to have full control of your device. I know, scary, it's fine, it'll be okay. You're gonna hit allow. So there you go for that. Now, double tap to sleep on your device. Fantastic, and the cool thing I like about Launcher 
it looks exactly like the Pixel Launcher, okay? Not much is different here. It's very stock Android, and I love that. This thing is beautiful. It's fast, no issues. And now everything should work on your device, which is fantastic. So essentially what I did is I uninstalled this and then did a backup. So let's go ahead and restore that backup. Let's go into home screen settings. We're going to go ahead and restore backup. And there you go for that. Layout and settings, backup restored. Now here is my backup all ready to go. We're going to go ahead and tap on this. Let's choose that clock right there. And boom. This is Lawn Chair Launcher. We got our Google feed off to the side. Everything seems to work. No more at a glance widget up top. As you can see, everything has been pushed up a little bit further to give you more space. You got a lot more area down here. And look at that, search bar, gone. Go into home screen settings. We could go on general and we could change everything on here, okay? So I would suggest not changing anything when it comes down to the fonts. Just because I found that doing that breaks your Google feed on your home screen. Found out the hard way on that. But you can go on your icons. So many different options when it comes down to the shape of your icons. Right now I'm using the egg shape. Fantastic. You could change the adaptive, the colors of your icons. Do you either do your system or go by your wallpaper or you could switch to swatches. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because I did a video on this last year on the Pixel 9. I will post that video down below and that will fully go over all of the options and customizations that Launcher has to offer for your Pixel. Notification dots, we're going to go have notification dots. We're going to need to allow access. So we're going to go and click on that. Change settings. It'll highlight for you. And then you're going to allow notification access. And now we got notification access, which means this will give you your notification badges on your missed notifications etc on your home screen which is fantastic now we could go back and there you go notification dots are on notification dot colors etc your dock you could change your dock it's going to allow more access turn that on and there you go for that allow all and now you could change your dock you could have a dock background uh, you could have, you control how many icons you want down there, your margins, your search bar settings. As you can see, I have it disabled. You could choose Lawn Chair or your Google one. I disabled it to get more screen real estate. And here are your docs, icons. You could change how many icons you want up to 10 icons at the dock. I just go ahead and keep it at four. Folders, you could change the background color of your folders to either system, wallpaper, or managed by Lawn Chair. Or you could choose some of the swatches down there. I'm going by the wallpaper. And like I said, a lot of different features on Lawn Chair to control and to customize your Pixel or any other device that you want to do on here. Like I said, for OnePlus devices, download from the Play Store. It'll be a lot easier. Do not go to the websites. It's, it's a debug. It's OnePlus and their security. You will have issues. So go to the Play Store for OnePlus devices. On Pixel, Samsung, um, LG, you can use the actual version down here at the bottom for the website right there. Links will be posted down below. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you next time here on Sick Eric Tech. Peace.